Hi! Welcome to STEM with the Houston Public Library. I'm Mary, and today we're going to be making fireworks in a jar. This activity is intended for ages 5 and up. You will need 4 tablespoons of oil and something to mix it in, a jar of water, food coloring, a stir stick, and just in case, you should probably have some paper towels nearby. Today, we're going to talk about the science of liquid densities. Everyone says oil and water don't mix, but why not? One of the reasons is density. Density is the amount of mass per unit of volume. That sounds complicated, but think about it like this. If an object is small and compact, it has a high density. A brick is heavier than a piece of paper because its molecules are close and tight together. Water has a high density with all of its molecules packed tightly together, and oil has a low density with all of its molecules spread apart. So when you mix them, the oil stays on top. Begin by filling an empty jar. You can do it about three quarters of the way up or all the way. You just wanna be able to see it. And set this to the side. In your bowl, go ahead and add the three tablespoons of oil, and then we're gonna add a couple drops of our food coloring. You don't wanna do too many, only like two or three can do the trick. Okay, let's add some blue, let's add some green. Be careful when you drop it in there because sometimes you'll end up dropping way more than you want. Okay, now grab your stir stick and mix it all up. It won't mix but it will break the food coloring into smaller droplets so that you'll have lots of fireworks. Now take your water and go ahead and pour it on in. After a moment or two, you'll see the oil settle at the top and then the food coloring will start to shoot down to the bottom, creating a firework effect. Traditional food coloring is water-based. And remember what happens to oil and water? The oil remains at the top, but the water will start to sink down to the bottom. I see red, green, yellow, all of the colors. Oh, there's a burst of blue. <gasps> If you enjoyed this activity, let us know on social media using the hashtag I love HPL. We hope to see you soon. Bye!